H.P. Lovecraft, born in 1890 and died in 1937, a widely known American horror writer with an array of popular reads. Amongst these stories and what Lovecraft is most famous for, the Call of the Cthulhu. What is good guys, my name is Nicholas Playlog, and in today's video we're going to be looking at the top 5 scary Cthulhu urban legends. Let's get into it. Number 5 on this list is an unexpected sound. During the Cold War, the United States, and more specifically their Navy, set up a surveillance system to detect sound at the Deep Sound Channel. The Deep Sound Channel, for those who don't know, is a horizontal layer of water in the ocean where the speed of sound is at its minimum. In 1997, this sound surveillance system detected what is known today as the bloop. This was an unidentified and unexplained sound that was so loud it could have only been produced by something gigantic. This sound came directly from the South Pacific Ocean as well, right where people believe Cthulhu is located. The origins of this sound have never been confirmed, but it's unlike anything that they've ever heard on that surveillance system before. The official report was that a massive piece of ice broke off from a glacier on the Antarctic Shelf. This could be possible, but some skeptics believe that this was the work of Cthulhu. In fact, some people believe that the government is fully aware and has recognized Cthulhu, but is trying to hide its existence from the public. Similar to what they have going on with Area 51 or the UFOs video that was released only a little while ago, the government is withholding information of Cthulhu for the public's benefit. To know that there is a massive, godlike creature with the capability to destroy the planet on a whim, sleeping beneath our ocean would assuredly insight major chaos. It serves the government's narrative a lot more to withhold such information and make sure that no one goes asking too many questions or searching around that area. I'm not sure if any of that is the truth, but I also have no idea what could have caused a sound as reportedly loud as the bloop was. A glacier breaking apart might just be a little bit too convenient of an excuse if you ask me. Number four on this list is that the movie Bird Box was based off the legend of Cthulhu. Now I guess this is less of an urban legend and more of a theory, but hear me out. Cthulhu possesses incredible strength, speed, and also has the ability to fly. It is said that he is immortal and to kill him would require the power of God. Basically, he's really freaking cool and you don't want to mess with him. Maybe one of his most notable traits though is what happens if you look at him. It's said that his appearance cannot be comprehended by the human brain and that to lay your eyes on him would cause you to immediately lose your mind. Your brain would simply be incapable of registering what it is seeing and it would lose itself in a deep fog of insanity. First off, that is wicked cool even though it's super scary, but let's link back to Bird Box. For those of you who aren't aware, Bird Box was a horror movie released in 2018 starring Sandra Bullock. It was directed by Susan Beer and trended on social media for a little while for its unique premise. Reading this straight off of Google, the premise of the movie is, when a mysterious force decimates the population, only one thing is certain, if you see it, you die. Except what that doesn't explain is that when you see it, the way you die is by suicide. The second you lay eyes on whatever the being is that is haunting these people, you immediately lose your mind and kill yourself. Well what if that being was actually Cthulhu? Maybe when you see him, you actually go so crazy that the only action your brain can take is to commit suicide and end your life. If you haven't ever seen the movie, or even if you have and you want to give it a rewatch, then watch it with Cthulhu in mind. I bet it will make a lot more sense than you may think. Number three on this list is Cthulhu Rising. Cthulhu's Rising is a loose name for what people imagine will be coming in the future. It is currently believed that Cthulhu is present on Earth. We think that he is in a deep slumber in the depths of the Pacific Ocean. This is pretty positive thinking for us human beings because if he was awake, then the world would most likely erupt into sheer madness. However, just because he's sleeping now doesn't mean that he'll be there forever. Many people forecast Cthulhu's rising where he will wake from his deep slumber, come out from the Pacific Ocean, and wreak havoc on the planet. It is currently unknown if there will be any method to this madness or if it will just be a complete slaughter, but I can guarantee that you won't want to be around to see it. The scary the scary part about this theory is that we have no idea when it's going to happen. At least with apocalyptic predictions, usually I can mark it in my calendar and go, alright, 2012, that's when the world will end. But with this, we just don't have any idea. People say that he will awaken and wreak havoc on the planet when the stars are right or aligned. Once again, this is a very loose prediction though because no one has any idea what that will look like or when that might be. 
If we knew at least what stars were in reference, then we could make some sort of educated guess, but not even that is specified. The only thing we know that the legend says is that when the stars are aligned, Cthulhu will awaken and basically destroy the whole planet. If this ever does come true, then humanity would obviously be doomed as well. We would just have to put blindfolds on and hope for the best. Number two on this list is a story from an apparent Cthulhu expert, Dave Higgins. Now Dave claims that he's constructed an altar to worship Cthulhu and that he is capable of summoning him as he wishes. However, he is very careful with how he uses the word summon when telling his story because he doesn't mean to summon the physical form of Cthulhu. As a self-appointed expert on the subject, he recognizes that Cthulhu is in a deep slumber and cannot be awoken until the stars are aligned in the necessary arrangement. What he does believe is possible though, and also has claimed to have done, is to summon Cthulhu through a telepathic means. This requires a ritual though that sounds incredibly difficult to perform. Dave says that you need to face the direction of Ryla. For those that don't know, that is a sunken city that is said to house Cthulhu. This acts as a bit of a prison whilst Cthulhu is in its slumber. It is said that the city sunk in the South Pacific Ocean, so that would be the direction that you would have to face. Step two of this summoning ritual gets tricky though. Dave says that you need to slaughter an elder thing. An elder thing is a vegetable looking alien thing that has also come out of the Lovecraftian universe. How Dave is getting these elder things and then having the means of killing them is truly beyond me. Anyways, after you've done this, you can state what you wish to happen at your Cthulhu altar. Dave claims that this is where you should receive contact from a telepathic voice that will be Cthulhu. He will reach out to you and should be grateful that you've killed an elder thing, one of his enemies, and therefore reward you with glimpses into the future. You may also wish that Cthulhu perform some act when he wakes up and he should perform it. Now Dave also references a Louisiana cult who had done this and had been doing it for some time until one of their members lost his mind completely and before killing himself almost killed the entire cult too. Personally, I have a very hard time believing that summoning the voice of Cthulhu is possible, but if it is, then the cult proves it's clearly very dangerous. Number one on this list is the Knight of Cthulhu. The Knight of Cthulhu is an urban legend told amongst New Zealand sailors. It is believed there that on one evening Cthulhu will break out of its sunken prison and awaken from its slumber. On that one night, the waters in the Southern Pacific won't be safe for any sailor in that area and they should avoid leaving land at all costs. The day in question is February 17th and that date was not selected randomly. Several decades ago on February 17th, an incredibly strange anomaly occurred among sailors in the Southern Pacific coming from New Zealand. All throughout that day, strange sightings from ships hundreds of kilometers apart were happening. I say strange sightings because the description of what they saw wasn't uniform, but different from every ship. Six ships called in about something massive and strange in the waters, but were unable to describe it in detail. On four of these ships, it should also be noted that several sailors lost their minds that day. It was chalked up as being cabin fever at that time, but after all the ships got back to port and started comparing stories, it became pretty evident that this wasn't just a strange coincidence. The legend says that on February 17th, Cthulhu is released from its prison for several hours to hunt the seas and explore. If it was Cthulhu that they stumbled upon decades ago, then these sailors are lucky to be alive and telling the tale. Well there you have it guys, that is our list of the top 5 scary Cthulhu urban legends. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought about this list, and if you ever got attacked by Cthulhu, how would you protect yourself? I think I would just accept defeat honestly. Please hit the like and subscribe button, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.